So I've been using the Mi Mix 2 for the past 3 days. So I have a pretty good idea about my overall feelings about the phone. So first, I want to talk about how much better this phone feels in the hand compared to the first Mi Mix. Though I like the first phone a lot, it was ultimately a bit too boxy and heavy for me to use as my daily driver. The Mi Mix 2 weighs 185 grams. That's 20 grams lighter than the Mi Mix 1. It's also curvier all around and fits in the palm better. Now the Mi Mix 2 is still a bit heavier than the Galaxy S8 Plus or the LG V30, but that's because the Mi Mix 2 is crafted out of ceramic. It's a very nice, dense feel in the hand. So looking at the front of the display, you have a 6 inch 2160 by 1080 LCD panel with rounded corners. That's a PPI of 403 if you're wondering. The bottom bezel is slightly slimmer than the first Mi Mix, but not by that much. Yes, the selfie camera is still on the bottom. Xiaomi's people tell me they're sticking to the guns and leaving it there instead of having a cutout at the top of the screen, like the iPhone 8 or the Essential Phone. Xiaomi's people actually didn't name drop these other phones, but they definitely imply that they thought a cutout on the top of the screen looked stupid. So the top bezel is actually slightly larger. That's because Xiaomi has implemented an earpiece into the Mi Mix 2. Instead of doing that thing with the Mi Mix 1 where it had to vibrate sound through the frame, phone calls definitely sound better on the Mi Mix 2 than on the 1. On the right side of the device, you have a power button and a volume rocker. On the left side, there's a SIM card slot. The bottom has a speaker grill, USB-C port, and no headphone jack. On the back is a fingerprint reader and a 12 megapixel camera with a Sony IMX386 lens. There's an 18 karat gold trim around the camera. And this year for the Mi Mix 2, this gold trim is on every version because on the Mi Mix 1, it was only on the special premium edition. The camera sticks out a little bit though, very slightly. Let's talk some specs. So you have a Snapdragon 835 with six gigs of RAM on the standard version and eight gigs of RAM on the special edition. There's a 3,400 milliamp battery. So software wise, the Mi Mix 2 runs Android 7.1.1 with MIUI 9 Global on top. So the global version of MIUI will have all the Google apps built in, not like the China one where you know you have to install your own Google apps. So MIUI 9 brings some new tricks that the older MIUI could not do. For example, you can finally quick jump between apps by double tapping on the overview button. And you can also do split screen mode. This is Xiaomi's own implementation of the split screen. So it's slightly different from the Android version in terms of how you activate it. Xiaomi's tick actually allows Instagram to go into split screen. You can't do that on, the, on Android's official version. There are MIUI specific features like QuickBall, which lets you put a floating button on your screen that allows access to home, back, overview, and screenshot. It just makes the phone a bit easier to use with one hand. Overall, I am okay with Mi UI. I don't hate it, but ultimately I prefer stock. I don't like that I don't get an app tray. And the most annoying thing of all, in Mi UI, you can't expand on notifications. So right here, I see that I have a new email, right? But I can't expand to see who that email is from or what it's about. This is a big hassle for someone like me who relies on email for work a lot because every day, I get like 50 emails and then I'm able to, on other phones, I'm able to look at the lock screen and just swipe them away if, if it's from someone that I don't care about. But the star of the show, however, is obviously the screen. And this 6 inch looks great. I mean, it's not an AMOLED panel, so the blacks aren't as deep, but the colors still look very punchy to me and overall the image is very crisp. I mean, maybe my opinion is influenced by uh, this video that I'm watching right here right now. But you'll notice that this video actually doesn't fill up the entire screen. That's because this is an 18 by 9 aspect ratio, while most content on the web is still 16 by 9. Now I wish Xiaomi gave me the option to crop this video to force it to fill up the whole screen, the way Samsung does with the Galaxy S8. I mean, I know that the way it is on the Samsung right now, the video is actually chopped at the top and the bottom, but I prefer this than all these black bars on the top bottom left and right but you know the Mi Mix can pump out really good audio that's because sound comes out not just from the bottom speaker but also the earpiece up top Xiaomi says it's not quite a stereo sound system but it's still better than just having one speaker grill right so right now 
I'm at 50% right now. So you see the sound is pretty good. And then let's go up to 100. So you know, even at 100, it's, it's not, there's no distortion. So you know, this is just a beautiful panel to watch videos on. So the camera on the Mi Mix 2 is the exact same hardware as the main camera on the Mi 6. Xiaomi tells me it's improved the software, so it should be a better camera than the Mi 6. And the camera app is easy to use. You do get a manual mode, but I really don't like that when you're using it. You can't see the change in ISO and shutter speed in real time through the viewfinder. On the Galaxy S8 and LG V30, you can see the video change colors and shade as you're adjusting ISO and all of that. So you can, you know, find that perfect lighting. The phone is also quite vague in terms of what resolution you're shooting in. Like, look at this. So for picture quality, it only says high, standard, or low. So what resolu resolution is that? As mentioned earlier, the selfie camera is on the bottom. So you have to flip the phone upside down to take a selfie. But the quality is pretty solid. The camera app also has a lot of fun filters that let you take creative shots like this. So let's look at some photo samples now. In general, the Mi Mix 2 can shoot great photos during the day. Colors are vibrant and well balanced. The camera shutter is fast and focus times, while not as fast as the Galaxy S8, isn't bad at all. So let's take a look at this picture of the flower. This macro shot turned out really well in my opinion. And now this Chinese banner. You can zoom in all the way and see all the details. I can read the Chinese text clearly. So in low light situations, the Mi Mix 2 is good, but not great. Photos look fine when you're looking at them on the phone, but put them on the computer like blown up or compare them side by side with the Galaxy S8 or LG V30 and you'll see that Xiaomi shots are a bit inferior. So look at these two shots right here. The Galaxy S8 produce a more clear image with more details. So moving on to video samples, the Mi Mix 2 has 4-axis OIS, and while it works well during the day, it doesn't seem to work at night. Video shot in the day as stud are steady and clean, but at night, you see a bit of jerkiness as I'm walking. Check out the samples. The phone can record very impressive slow motion videos though. The footage here is almost as good as the slow motion videos I shot with the Sony Xperia XZ Premium. So you know with a Snapdragon 835 and 6 or 8 gigs of RAM, the Mi Mix 2 is a performance powerhouse. I mean I use this phone heavily for 3 days, recording a lot of videos, editing videos, I opened a bunch of apps. I played a lot of games and the phone didn't, didn't lag on me at all. This is a much faster phone than the Samsung Galaxy S8, which is laggy as hell. And you know, battery life is excellent too. So it, over three days, I think I average about five hours of screen on time. I would basically go out all day for like 12 hours and then come home with like 35% battery life. It's, it's pretty amazing. So there are some things I don't like about the phone. I don't like having to use a dongle if I wanted to use my wired headphones. And not being able to expand on the notifications drives me crazy. I wish there was waterproofing too. And I'm not a fan of the overly shiny reflective back that attract fingerprints. I just prefer like a matte metal back. But overall the Mi Mix 2 is a very good device. It improves on the Mi Mix 1 in every way. I love love how this phone feels in the hand but sadly the wow factor is gone and this is like no fault of xiaomi the mi mix 1 was a stunning device that blew blew everybody's socks off when it came out it made all the other phones look bad but the mi mix 2 doesn't quite do that because right now we have a market full of cheap chinese bezelless phones that sell for like 200 bucks and actually look pretty damn good and we have phones like the lg v30 and galaxy s8 that you know, even though it has a different design, still offers that almost all screen look. And then there's the iPhone 8, of course. So there's just a lot of bezel-less phones on the market now. But you know what? Xiaomi started this trend. Yes, I'm aware that Sharp Arcos did it first, but that phone doesn't count. It's too obscure. So Xiaomi started this trend and they deserve props. Apologies for this long-ass video, man.
Thanks for watching.